Hola, hi, welcome to today's lesson. And today's lesson is going to focus on the preposition for F O R. Preposition for F O R. Now, it's equivalent, uh, the Spanish equivalent of F O R, it's P O R, pronounced por. So the uh, Spanish equivalent of the preposition for F O R. It's called POR, P-O-R. And what we are going to see is that um, P-O-R, for in, in Spanish, um, can be applied in different ways. Uh, the preposition POR, P-O-R, which is the same, which is F-O-R, for in English. So POR can be used as um, to mean in, to mean uh, for or to mean by. So it has different uses. Uh, the preposition uh, P-O-R, which is for F-O-R, has different uses or different applications in Spanish, if you will. And one of those is that it can be used as in, it can be to express like a location. Uh, it can be used um, as by to express uh, again, like the location or the way by which we do something. So what I'm saying is that P-O-R, uh, the preposition P-O-R, which is the English equivalent for, has different applications in Spanish. So uh, let's turn to the board and see the different ways that we can apply the preposition P-O-R, for P-O-R. So stay with me as I move. Um, to the board here and we can focus on today's uh, lesson. So once again, thank you so much for joining me and for being part of these classes that I offer on Spanish Central. So as our board comes into view, uh, remember to keep on studying, keep on looking at the lessons that I've already posted on the channel. Uh, they are more than 25 uh, videos already. So let's look at today's lesson. So let's look at today's lesson. So on top of the board, you see I've written POR, P-O-R, POR, P-O-R, which is the English equivalent of FOR, F-O-R, can also be used as IN, I-N, can also be used as BY. So let's look at specific examples in day-to-day -day usage of the language to see how it, this preposition is applied. So the first one is POR being used as FOR. And that example is when we say POR AHORA, POR AHORA, it means FOR NOW. POR AHORA means FOR NOW or FOR THE PRESENT. Again, remember this A H O R A. The reason I'm not saying for horror is because H is silent in Spanish. H is silent in Spanish, the letter H is silent in Spanish, so that's why I'm saying for our is used for now. So the first usage of P O R is for to show like the current time or the current uh, situation. The second use of P O R uh, is as we will see means in. For example, when you say por la noche, por la noche, we mean in the evening. Por la noche, in the evening. So we see the second use of the preposition P-O-R to mean in. Por la noche, in the evening. Let's look at the third usage of the preposition for. When we say for a key, for he means by or around here. For a key means for a key means by or around here. A key by itself, a q u i means here. Key means here. So when you say for a key, it means by or around here. And let's look at another example. Por casualidad. Por casualidad means by chance. Por casualidad means by 
chance. So again, let's recap the lesson today. We are looking at the different usage of or different applications of the preposition P-O-R, the P-O-R uh, we've seen in this lesson. This is not everything, by the way. This is not everything. These are just some of the ways we use P-O-R, now some of the uh, applications. So the first one is for. Uh, P-O-R can be for, like when you say por ahora, which means for now or at the present, for now or at the present. Second usage of the uh, preposition for in, is in, in. When we say por la noche, in the evening. Por la noche, in the evening. The third use of por for this specific lesson is by, by. And for example, por aquí, por aquí means by, by here or around here. What a key means by here or around here. And finally, for this lesson, por casualidad. Por casualidad means by chance, like when something happens by chance, or when if you happen to have, uh, like the way you can ask somebody, uh, do you have, do you have uh, a, a, like you have a pen in your pocket by chance, by chance, if you happen to have a pen in your Pocket, or uh, you, know, you can say, for example, now in Spanish you can say, por casualidad, tiene este libro, by chance, do you have this book? So that's the other use of the uh, preposition for. Por casualidad means by chance. And muy bien, uh, amigos, that's a lesson for today. So today, basically, we just talked about some of the ways we use the preposition P or R, some of the ways we use the preposition uh, P or R, which is, we have seen in this lesson, P or R can, be, can uh, be applied to mean for, can be applied to mean in, and it can be applied to mean by. So those are some of the usages of the preposition P or R, and trust me, I'll be bringing you more examples as we go on uh, with the weekly lesson. So once again, this is your amigo, uh, John Gomugay, telling you thank you for your uh, for watching this video. Thank you for your support. Please remember to subscribe. Uh, hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. Also hit the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever uh, I upload a new video. So until the next time, uh, keep watching, keep the feedback coming. Adios. Muchas gracias.